If you work hard, you should get paid for it. But some shocking claims are coming out of our two biggest supermarkets, with these employees saying they've been ripped off. Coles and Woolies could be up for hundreds of millions of dollars. I should have been spending that time with my kids enjoying it with them, sorry. <laughs> and it's just, it's Coles took that away from me, so. Ultimately, what they did was just wrong. It's just totally, totally wrong. There are no more braver individuals than those in the Coles and Woolworths class actions. These are people who are career retail workers that are standing up for real change. From the checkout to the federal court, Coles and Woolies salaried workers are taking on the supermarket giants, claiming they've been shortchanged. Single mum of two, Maria, is part of the class action against Coles, claiming she worked a ridiculous amount of unpaid overtime. I reckon I was doing an extra 30 to 40 hours a week. So, and I know that I was like drinking Red Bulls at the time, I was sleeping three, four hours a day. I'd be getting text messages from team members three, four o'clock in the morning saying they couldn't come in, so I'd be working replacing shifts. Maria says some days she would start at 5 a.m. and wouldn't end until 9 p.m., which took a toll on her and her family. I was on the verge of having breakdowns all the time. All the time I was having fights with my ex-husband because he thought I was working ridiculous hours. I'm like, I need to do this, I can't lose my job. How did it make you feel to not be able to spend that time with your kids? Um, it's not fair. I, I don't want to do this anymore. My kids are growing up and I'm not getting to see them. Sorry. Do you feel like you were being taken advantage of? Yes, because they, they knew that I was trying to do a good job and do what they were expecting me to do and they would just continue adding tasks on it knowing that um, like they would set the expectations saying this needs to be done um, before you go home. Maria believes she's out of pocket more than $200,000 for all of the overtime she worked, but Coles doesn't agree. What has Coles said in response to your claims? They're saying I did it out of choice that I chose to do the excessive hours. I chose to come in in my own time and do that stuff. No one ever had asked me to do that. Um, they're saying that it was a lack of time management skill. Melbourne father Cameron is part of the class action against Woolies. He worked there for five years as a night manager. So as manager, I would always be there first. Um, my team would work between the hours of 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. But I was always there first in dealing with rostering issues, setting up the storeroom, um, and in order to complete the tasks, I had to work the extra hours. Cameron says he raised his salary concerns with Woolworths and got a pay rise, but also claims he was treated unfairly. I, I guess I was harassed and bullied. I was getting investigated once a month for really tedious things that made very little sense. And by June of 2019, um, my employment was terminated due to various investigations that I was being hassled with. Cameron says he's since been back paid around $90,000, but believes he's owed more. One of the real issues of this case is that Woolworths didn't keep accurate clock in and clock out data for salaried employees. The Australian public, the people that go into our major supermarkets every day, who spend a large portion of the national income on those groceries, should be asking deep questions about a culture that puts profit above workers. Now, did you think when Rory Richie Markham from Adaro Law is spearheading the class action lawsuits against Coles and Woolies, as the Fair Work Ombudsman also takes the supermarket giants to task in the federal court for alleged underpayments which could cover claims totalling hundreds of millions of dollars. I hope that Cameron and Maria get vindicated both as public figures of what was a scandalous behaviour in underpayments but also vindicated that they were right. So they need to stop treating people like we're just numbers because we have things going on in our life. We have families, you know, and the stuff they're doing it affects us. Woolies and Coles have apologised to staff impacted by the underpayments and the court case is ongoing.